Hi there. In this video, I'll be showing you how to take on the Undead Giant, one of the many bosses you'll encounter in the Chalice Dungeons in Bloodborne. My weapon of choice for this boss is Ludwig's Holy Blade. I recommend using this weapon just because it's a good mix of both speed and power. If you use a faster weapon like the Blades of Mercy, you're going to basically take too much time trying to chain combos for damage, and then he's going to hit you with a one-hit KO, and that's not a fun time. Uh, same with other slower weapons, uh, you're going to take too much time doing uh, an animation for a wind-up hit uh, before you actually hit him, and he'll just hit you for one shot and you'll die. Um, so basically the strategy with this boss is to let him pull his combos off and then move in with an L2, uh, then back away. Uh, this might be a little different from what weapon you're using, but basically you're going to want to hit him generally only once or twice and then back away. Now what's hard about this boss is that his moves are usually chained with uh, like random other moves to form combos. For example, right there. Uh, that ground smash, it's very unpredictable. He does it anywhere between one to five times and sometimes he ends it off doing nothing or swinging his left hook. Um, now that's the tricky part. Basically look out for that. In this video you'll see me backing away when he does his ground smashes. Just because I like to play it safe. I don't want to risk getting hit. Um, and basically that's that. Now the thing about this boss too is that behind his right leg is a sack. Now uh, it might be a personal question so I'm not going to ask him what it's filled with but I assume uh, something disgusting. Uh, but that's besides the point. When you pop that bubble, uh, basically he loses one third of his health. Now many videos out there will basically have the person telling you to hit that right away or they'll just hit it right away and I advise against that. Mostly just because, well, many bosses in Bloodborne have phases depending on their health. Uh, this boss is one of them. Once he gets to 50% of his health, he enters his second phase where he gets two new moves and is generally more, uh, well, generally more uh, swing happy. One of his moves in particular is a very, very large swing that's twice as long as any of his other attacks. So, back to my uh, original uh, idea is that you're going to want to use my strategy to get him to 50% health with the whole baiting and the left uh, trigger and then once he gets into phase 2 that's when you want to pop the bubble just because that's less time of him being in phase 2 and trust me you do not want him in phase 2 for long he does uh, multiple hits uh, for long range all one hit KO uh, in a basically environment like this if you get cornered and you got nowhere to dodge you're screwed Although, you can dodge his very, very long swing attack once he gets to phase 2, but um, now it's not advised unless you're very, very good at dodging. Uh, you'll see that very shortly in the video. Uh, for now, I'll cut out the audio and just let the rest of the battle ring out until you see him go into phase 2. Hey there! Now, I know I said I'd be back during his second phase, but I'd just like to take this time to explain that 
Although I do say he can one-shot kill multiple times throughout this video, that's not always the case. If you're a high-level hunter or have high vitality in general, sometimes you will be left with a sliver of health, mostly during his punishing moves at the end of combos. The reason I want to bring this to your attention is because even if you think you have, uh, you've only taken a little amount of damage, like a spec, you will want to try your best to heal that little spec anyways just because sometimes that's the difference between life or death in this kind of battle so make sure you keep those blood vials handy and uh, in general go into this fight with a lot because that might happen to you multiple times uh, you know just the case that you'll be left in those situations where he will hit you you'll have barely any health and in order to really fill up all the way you know sometimes it'll take uh, three maybe even four vials for some people so always keep that in mind so once again I'm going to let the battle ring out until his second phase And I'm back. Shortly you're going to see him go into his second phase. And I'd be very cautious because once he goes into phase 2, he does an area of effect attack that kills you in one hit, 360 degrees. There it is. And also, there is his new spin attack. Watch out for that because that is twice the range. Get behind him and pop his sack just like I did. So, basically he's already at one-fifth of his health and just like I said earlier, Honestly, it helps a lot because that's less time he's in this phase. As you're going to see right there, you just basically spam spin to win until he kills you. Um, just like I dodged for the sack behind him, uh, that's basically the same philosophy you want to use if you do want to dodge his big spin attack. Uh, if you're not too good at dodging or parrying, I would advise against that you know just keep your distance but if you absolutely have to like if he corners you or just gets you out of nowhere that's how you dodge it I'm gonna try doing it as much uh, as possible just so you can get a grasp of that uh, and yeah uh, you saw me throw some poison knives at him that was honestly just for fun uh, but if you do want to use items against him, I recommend the Molotovs, that speeds things up, as well as the Fire Paper, just because he is not extremely weak to fire, but, you know, it will speed up the battle. But for the purpose of this video, I want to drag the fight as long as possible, just so people get a better grasp uh, for his combos and timing. Uh, and yeah, uh, also, I guess the Tauntress is worth mentioning as well. Uh, it's a weapon you get that does bolt damage. Uh, I heard it does a considerable amount of damage to him. Uh, so yeah, use that if you want as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and <laughs> rest in peace. Okay, pray slaughtered and uh, happy hunting everyone. Thank you for watching.